FIFA 17 is here, so head over to ufifa.com, use the code TV at checkout to get yourself a massive discount on all the coins and points you could possibly want for the new FIFA game. The link is down in the description. Go check them out. What is going on guys, TVM here, welcome to another Team of the Week predictions. Last week we had an absolute stormer, I think I got 12 right out of the 15-16 uh, that I actually selected. So I think I did well there. Um, let's see if we can replicate that, shall we? Uh, we're going to kick things off with the sub bench as we normally do, and on the subs bench is Martin Stecklenburg of Everton, who uh, made two penalty saves in their game on the weekend. Ebanks Liddell got himself two goals from the centre-back position for Sheffield United in their 4-0 win. Scott Malone got a goal and two assists in Fulham's 4-2 win on the weekend. I was going to go with Charlie Daniels of Bournemouth, who got a goal and an assist in a 6-1 win, of course. But I've decided that I think Scott Malone will edge ahead just because of that extra assist. And there is another Bournemouth player in this week's Team of the Week. And here he is, Junior Stanislas. He'll probably be higher rated than that, but that's just what FootWiz gives me. Two goals and one assist in the 6-1 win on the weekend, of course. Like I said, I don't think there'll be more than one Bournemouth player. Should that have been a Barcelona performance, then maybe. But as it's Bournemouth, EA won't see the money value. But still, nice little inform for Junior Stanislas. Leandro Benegas, who plays for uh, Palestino, got himself three goals in his side's 5-1 win. Casemiro Ninga got himself an inform in Team of the Week 3, however, went on to score two goals and get himself an assist in his side's 3-2 win at the weekend. Pretty sure he has to get an inform. However, please note it would be a position change from a striker to a left mid, and it would also be gold. So, me showing you that card pretty much had no representation of what the inform would actually look like, but still, left mid gold for Casemiro Ninga. Zach Clough, again, another position change from a cam to a striker, but he got Bolton's two goals in their win, obviously, in their 2-0 win. I'm not quite sure about this one, to be honest. It's kind of wishful thinking because I'm a big fan of Zach Clough in real life. I think he's got massive potential, so I'd love to see this. Anaki Gogia, if that's how you say his name, plays for Dresden. He got their two goals and one assist in a 5-0 win. Again, I'm not quite sure about this one, but it would be a position change should he get it. This is kind of in a sort of highly likely but not definite kind of capacity. It would go from a left mid to a right wing. Theo Walcott highly uh, predicted to get an inform. He has scored two goals in Arsenal's win on the weekend, of course. I would imagine that they would make this a left wing card as that's pretty much the position he played. But um, I'm hopefully they mess up and just give him a striker card because that would be amazing. But either way, Walcott for an inform. And finally on the subs bench, we have Carlos Eduardo of Al Hilal. Two goals and one assists in his side's 4-0 win. Now, of course, he is a cam in-game, so this would be a position change to a striker. Not a lot of you would like the look of that, but I actually do really like the look of that for the, for the type of play that I use. Very nice looking card. Now on to the starting 11, and we have Rene Adler in goal. He got himself uh, a clean sheet, a penalty save, and four saves on top of that to help his side to a 0-0 draw. Now, I would put Stecklenburg ahead of him, but again, EA looking for money will probably put Adler in the starting lineup. Not that it matters, because both of them, in theory, should be in the team of the week. Paul Bice, Bicey, I'm not quite sure how to say his name, plays for Nice, got himself a goal in their 2-0 win. Vasily Brzezutski of CSKA got the only goal in his size 1-0 win on Friday. And Botia, or Bo I can't say that guy's name, of Olympiakos anyway, one goal in his size 2-0 win on Saturday. Now, if you keep a clean sheet and score a goal as a defender, generally you are going to get yourself an inform. Not the best looking card in the world, but still an inform nonetheless. Joe Allen of Stoke, of course, got himself two goals on the weekend. That is amazing. In a 2-0 win as well. I cannot wait to get my hands on this Joe Allen inform. I'm really hoping that they're going to bump it to a 79 or an 80. But uh, either way, an inform, here we come. Rokina, Roshina, I don't know. Ruben Kazan, of course, he got himself a goal and an assist in his side's 3-0 win. This one is pretty much nailed on. However, it is a position change. Ignore that. It's not going to be a centre mid card, unfortunately. It's going to be a right mid. Rafinha for Barcelona scored two goals in their 4-0 win on the weekend. But a right mid card, I mean, it looks amazing as maybe a CM, CDM, even a cam. But a right mid, I don't think anyone's going to want to use that at all. This is the big one. This is the one that uh, everyone is predicting, really. And that is Yannick Carrasco of Atletico Madrid. Of course, they dished out a 7-1 thrashing on the weekend. He got three goals and two assists of the seven. A lot of people are saying Gaitan as well. But I don't think Gaitan will get it purely because he came on as a substitute. I think they're only going to give one. And that is going to be for Carrasco. Isco grabbed two goals in Real Madrid's 6-1 win at the weekend as well. 
Uh, it was between him and maybe Tony Kroos who got two assists, but I think that they would probably go for the goals over the assists. Martin Braithwaite got two goals and an assist in their 3-1 win over Monaco, who have kind of like halted the title charge of Monaco at the moment as well, so that is a big, big inform. That's pretty much it, but a quick disclaimer before we finish. I know that there are a couple of big games on tomorrow, and I will update on who I think should deserve an inform and who I would replace in my current predictions in the comment section. I need to do this now because I won't have time to do it tomorrow evening and get it out in time. So I'm going to upload it now, as you can see, and then tomorrow I'll update you in the comments. So if you want to find out who I've picked from maybe the Man United Liverpool game and a few other big games that are on as well, then come back and have a look at the comment section. But for the time being, that is going to do it. However, before you go anywhere, please go and check out Multiplayer HD. He did all of my research last year for Team of the Week predictions, which you guys loved, if you remember correctly. He's not doing it this year. I'm doing it by myself, but he does such, some in-depth research. I mean, like proper CSI stuff on his Team of the Week predictions. So go check out his most recent video, which is a prediction for this week's Team of the Week as well. Compare the two and see how many I get correct compared to him, because I think he's going to absolutely slaughter me. His link is at the very top of the video description. Please go check him out if you would. That would be amazing. Smack the like button if you've enjoyed it on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Till the next time, goodbye.